Good, happy Sunday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First step, thousands without power after storm. More than 220,000 people lost power during a rainstorm Sunday morning in New Hampshire, officials said. In the town of New Durham, 100% of Eversource customers lost power and 99% of Eversource customers in Middleton were left in the dark. A tree and wires were down across Back River Road in Bedford near the Merrimack Town Line, police said. There were also reports of trees down in Ware. The Deering Center closed after a tree came down in the area. Dearborn Road in Ware was also closed for a tree down. Part of Black Brook Road closed after a tree brought down wires onto the roadway. A tree was also came down on Gold Brook Road in Windham. Remembering 9-11 New Hampshire Victims Okay, it looks like we're having a little technical difficulties with the video. Um, give me one. <coughs> Hopefully we can get this video rolling for you guys. Sorry about that. we go. Okay, we're having a little technical difficulties with our video right now. Sorry about that. Record turnout at New Hampshire 9-11 Memorial Climb in Manchester. A huge turnout today at the 6th Annual New Hampshire 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb in downtown Manchester. More than 400 people, including firefighters from across the region, are climbing the stairs of the Brady Sullivan Tower and Half Times. It represents the 11 stories of the tw Twin Tower in New York City, where 343 firefighters died. For 23-year-old firefighters Travis Gray and Colton Peladion, this is their first memorial climb. I'm very nervous for this. I'm not really sure what to expect. 110 floors is a lot, says Gary. While they were only in fourth grade at the time of the attacks, both say it inspired them to become firefighters. In honor of those who died, they're taking on this girling challenge in full gear. Rocco Pelletier, station manager for AMR in Manchester, is ready and waiting for anyone who needs help. Two candidates in Tuesday's primary tell us why they also took part. If or when that day comes, firefighters Gary and Pelladier will be ready. As of early Sunday morning, $25,000 has been raised 
for the National Fallen Firefighter Foundation, twice as much as last year. And you can click on the web web on the firefighter fallen firefighter donation website and learn more about the fun foundation. Clinton pneumonia diagnosed revealed after a rump 9-11 Memorial Departure. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. Ice cream from Rock. Methods, not miracles. Clinton's personal doctor revealed on Sunday that the Democratic candidate was diagnosed with pneumonia on Friday. The doctor's statement came hours after Clinton drew attention for abruptly leaving a 9-11 memorial event at Ground Zero and was seen on video apparently being assisted getting into a van. What it was like to anchor on 9-11. Let's take a listen to the video. There was a large fire at the Pentagon. The Pentagon has been evacuated. And there, as you can see, perhaps the second tower, the front tower, the top portion of which is collapsing. Good Lord. There are no words. Silence is what you used in that moment. When you see it now, what stands out to you? Um, first of all, from the moment the first tower fell, there was a clock ticking. And it was ticking in my head. It was ticking in the heads of uh, hundreds of millions of people uh, in America and a billion people around the world who were watching it. Because if the first tower fell, the second one was going to fall too. And we all heard this clock ticking. As I think about it now, 15 years later, okay, is that the, the story we, it's not that we didn't tell it, it's that we, there was so much to tell that we couldn't highlight it quite enough. Not because we were bad at what we did or that we didn't try or any of that. There was just so much happening. Is that in that moment there were men, mostly men, firemen and and policemen, who were running into that building that was collapsing, and knowing that they were never going to come out. And um, I think when that building fell, I understood better than at any other point in my life, uh, before or since, what the word hero meant. Uh, it's not that we didn't try to tell that story great. It's that the story itself is too great to tell. You made me a little bit less afraid that day. I'll never forget the, the, the experience watching you, you as a viewer. Did you still hear that 15 years later? Because we're at the point now where this really is yeah. history. It was something that I was fortunate professionally to do and painful as an American to live through. It's a, it's a weird contradiction that right. journalists live with. Right. The ambivalence of, of, on the one hand, loving the big story, and on the other hand, hating the fact that that story is happening. Okay, and that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.